Even if cloud services and virtualization are in the focus these days, the classic on-site servers still have their right to exist. Data centers have changed over the past few years. From simple storage rooms to complex little ecosystems with lots of different systems. The goal is to gain maximal productivity and to reduce the overall energy consumption. I do it helps you to keep track. A detailed documentation of the data center gives you predictability and a central platform for all necessary information. Let's take a look at a typical situation. What we did here was to design a service provider who runs free data center sites around the globe. In Berlin, Bangkok and New York City. In their respective sites are data center rooms located, equipped with not only racks and servers, but also systems such as uninterruptible power supplies, cooling systems, KVM switches, fire extinguishers, physical access controls and many more. Let's take a closer look at a single rack. Next to detailed location and positioning information of the systems, we also see the maximum energy usage for this rack and how many rack units are unused. Combined with the information about free switch and power ports, I can plan the deployment of a new server systems exactly. Of course, I can also open up a REC overview of the whole data center to find a suitable position for a new system. But I do it offers much more information in detail, next to model, manufacturer or serial number informations shown here for a switch as an example, I could add any information I want from networking to accounting. Even complex systems can be documented easily from storage area networks to virtual systems. Everything is possible. Here we can see a core chassis switch with its modules. The connections and dependencies of the components as the different modules attached to the chassis can be documented as desired. The detail of the information depth is determined by the user. To give you an example, let's look at the cable documentation. Connections between components are created automatically. Here is a complete power cabling plan for a single power distribution unit. It goes from the UPS to the servers. If we take a closer look at a single cable, we can see that you can optionally document down to information about a single wire. Do you want to know more about iDoit and its possibilities? Just take a look at our website or contact us.